It's not in your program book, but we've been uh, honored to have the, the mayor of the city of Fall River uh, att uh, attend here this evening. I know he wants to say a few words. But before he does, and I'll probably screw this up, but I think you were sitting in an audience maybe, I don't know, seven, eight years ago when you were a senior at Bishop Conley? And you received, I don't know what scholarship you received, but you received a Citizen Scholarship Foundation of Fall River Dollar for Scholars Scholarship. So that goes to all, let all of you know that if you get a scholarship tonight in a few years, you can also be the mayor of the city of Fall River. <laughs> or some other city. So at this time, let me introduce the mayor of Fall River, Jason Correa. Not running against me in a couple of years. That's a little bit too soon. I want at least a, at least a little bit longer. So how are we doing tonight, everybody? Good. Okay. We got some parents here. Yeah, parents in the back. Yep. We got the students here. Well, congratulations, guys. This is a huge honor. Um, I, I speak at a lot of different events, graduations, and of course city events. And um, at this time of the year, a lot of scholarship events. Um, and those are actually, to me, very important. Um, you know, I'm a product of good education, both here in the city and then higher ed at Providence College, and scholarships are the only way that I was able to get through college, uh, both academic through the college, other ones like this, as you heard, I did apply for a scholarship. And that's really important. You took that step, right? And that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be, um, that shouldn't be taken lightly. And you know, you probably had parents push you to, to apply for as many scholarships as possible, because I know my parents were, uh, and that they should be commended, but you really deserve some serious commending as well for taking that step, because there's so many, so many students that didn't take that step to even apply. So for that, you deserve a round of applause. So we can give them a round of applause. It's <laughs> takes hard work, it takes hard work, right? You have to write essays and do community service and all kinds of stuff, so congratulations. So as I was talking to a few of you here on the front, I hear that some of you are already in college, which is excellent, You're doing some great things. I heard bio, uh, bio field, I heard some medical, some nursing, criminal justice, and some others, so that's, that's great. And I'm looking forward to all the great things you're gonna do. I hope you do them locally. I hope you come back to Fall River at some point in your life, and that's what I did. I, I was able to leave here for a little bit in college, not too far, uh, but come back and, uh, and run for office, and give back to the community in, in a way that I hope is impactful and makes a difference in your lives as well. Uh, but tonight is really important because it shows, again, the commitment that you've made to education. It shows the commitment that the city continues to make this organization is unbelievable. You know, it, it really is. If you open this program, and I know I've been talking, I've been looking at these guys down here, but I want to talk to the parents as well. If you look at this program, over a million dollars, a million dollars to Fall River students, Fall River area students. That's huge. That's a lot of money, a million dollars. I could use a million right now in my budget. <laughs> so a million dollars is huge. I mean, that's really incredible. All from donations and the hard work that the board of directors and different members of this organization continue to put together. And then, of course, the donations and the, in names of, of amazing, tremendous people, uh, really tremendous people. And, you know, we're, we're looking at, you know, just while I was looking at the program, you know, we don't even, as a city, or, or myself certainly, personally, don't deserve to have a scholarship named after us, but we want to do something. So we're going to figure that out. Maybe the city can do something in the budget or something like that, but we're going to talk. We're going to do an annual scholarship somehow as a city. Uh, but certainly, my name isn't Belonka amongst the names of the people that, uh, that scholarships have been dedicated to tonight. Uh, but again, I just wanted to come by and say congratulations. And thank you for your hard work. Life's hard, and you guys, uh, I really respect what, what we all, young people and adults, uh, are really doing to move our lives forward. So congratulations. And uh, one more thing, actually, I almost forgot. Uh, I usually don't write speeches down. One more thing. College is so expensive. This is to parents, this is to people listening. I can't thank you enough for what you're doing. One of my biggest concerns, as just a, not, not the mayor, just a person, is the increasing cost of education in the United States. It is getting outrageous. You have education at some of our higher ed institutions reaching 200,000 a year in some of these private institutions. Uh, two, excuse me, 200,000 for the four, four years, for the full four years. People are leaving with mortgages. That's a mortgage, right? There are probably you could probably buy a couple, at least one house in Fall River for 200000 That's a problem. So this, this right here is so, so important. So if you have the ability to make a donation, if you have the ability to help a student out, uh, please make sure you do. So thank you so much to the parents, to the board of directors, to the families that donated in somebody's name. And most importantly tonight, 
Congratulations to these students. Thank you. I want to thank the mayor for stopping by. Uh, it is budget time, and uh, I know he's been extremely busy, and I appreciate him coming by to say a few words to all of the, uh, the recipients this evening. Okay. Taking a look at my agenda. Uh, at this time, I want to take a couple of minutes and introduce the, um, the, the, board, of, the, board, of the board of directors. Um, not everyone's here this evening. Unfortunately, we have some illnesses going on. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to call out everyone's name, and uh, if they're here, they're here. If they're not, they're not. Uh, but um, uh, Ernie Silva, Jr., who's over here, he's, uh, Ernie's the previous president uh, and uh, now vice president, and he's uh, my mentor as the president this year, uh, uh, helping me out. Uh, Madeline O'Connell's our treasurer. Unfortunately, she's a little under the weather. Uh, Fatima Vieira is our assistant treasurer. She's right over here. Uh, Beverly Moore down here, she checked you in. She's our secretary clerk, Bev. Uh, one of our directors, Steve Dorney. Steve's right here. And then uh, members of the corporation, I'm not sure, uh, Karen Boddington, Karen's right here. Uh, Joe Costa, I know Joe's not here. Meg Donovan's not here. Uh, Peter Homan, Peter's right here. Uh, Philomena Lopes, I saw, I think, uh, where, where is she? Right here, Philomena Lopes, right here. Uh, Mike McNally's a little under the weather. Uh, Mary Jo Murphy, Mary Jo's right here. Uh, Ann Plitka, Ann's right there. Uh, Wayne Swenson is not here, and last is Denise Viveris. Uh, that's our board of directors. Um, I want to say something about the board. Um, uh, look around. They all have something in common. I say this every year, including myself. We're all old as hell. Uh, there's a message there. There's a message there. First thing I want to say is every, there's no paid staff here at Citizen Scholarship Foundation of Fall River. Everyone is a volunteer so that when we raise funds as we did uh, two weeks ago, and I'm going to get into that in a minute, we can truly say that 100% of the funds that we raise in Fall River stay in Fall River. Every single penny that we raise goes to scholarships, doesn't go anywhere else. And uh, all I can say is to the students, I know that you're going to be going to college for the next four years and partying, I mean studying, um, <laughs> but when you complete your education, remember these people who gave of their time and their energy, they're all very busy people, and when you have a chance, remember to give back to your community, okay? Remember, that, that's extremely important. Um, so the next thing I want to do is, although I've already introduced these people, uh, we have within our board of directors, we have an awards committee. Um, all of you uh, filled out your scholarships online, and uh, not just the people that are receiving a scholarship this evening, but there were a lot, there were other people that filled out scholarship applications, and for one reason or another, they did not qualify for a scholarship, but we had a review many, many, many scholarship applications over several days. And we have, a, we have a committee that's in place, and it's made up of Meg Donovan. Meg's actually in Boston. Uh, she's the chair, and Mike McNally, who's a little bit under the weather tonight. Uh, but also, uh, Steve Dorney is on the awards committee, Peter Homan, and, uh, and Bev. So I, just a, you know, a little round of applause for the awards committee. <laughs> Okay, let me talk uh, for a few seconds about our second year grant program. I feel like Marco Rubio at a conference. <laughs> um, this is only our second year that we're doing second year awards. Uh, this is the 58th year of Citizen Scholarship Foundation of Fall River. One of our goals uh, for decades is that we, were, we would be able to award second year grants. But it's something that, uh, unfortunately, due to financial constraints, we haven't been able to do un until last year. Um, so I want to talk about our second year grant program. You see some of the students here in the front row, and they have these fluorescent yellow shirts on. And I asked them to wear their shirts this evening. Um, they and some others who were unable to be here tonight, but they'll also, they will still receive a, a second year grant. Um, they volunteered for what we call Shake the Can. Uh, we did a shake the can on the 30th, April the 30th at Walmart in Fall River. And uh, two weeks ago, Saturday, June the 11th, 
we did what we call a citywide shake the can. Um, and it's about as simple as, a, as it gets. We go out to city streets and we have our cans and we shake our cans. And we were able, between the April 30th uh, shake the can at Walmart and the citywide on June the 11th, we were able to raise approximately $6,000 on the city streets in coins and dollar bills. And that allows us to award uh, additional scholarships and additional uh, second year grants. So, to all of the high school recipients this evening, have I got a deal for you, okay? And this is the same deal I made to these ladies and gentlemen who are in these yellow shirts. We're gonna do two fundraisers next year, again, Shake the Can at Walmart, and a citywide Shake the Can. We don't, ha we don't have those dates yet. Um, we did, again, we did April 30th and we did June the 11th. I'm actually trying to spread it out this year and do maybe Walmart in October and then do uh, the citywide in May, but I don't have the dates. But I do have your phone numbers that I can text you and I do have all your email addresses because they're all on scholarships. And if you volunteer to do both of those events, you can sit in this row next year with a yellow shirt and get a second year grant, okay? So um, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. So um, at this point in time, I'm gonna ask Fatima Vieira, our assistant treasurer, to come down, and we're going to award the second year grants. Okay, all right. Maybe you just wanna stand in front of the table? And... Okay. So again, everyone that's in the audience, they're getting checks tonight, so when I email you next year, you know, the ball's in your court, all right? So um, it's not a major event. They're both four-hour shifts, four-hour at Walmart, four-hour at the city streets. You do the eight hours, you sit here next year. Okay, uh, our first recipient is uh, Dylan Almeida. Dylan, congratulations. Oh, you got the wrong ones. There you go. Best laid plans. Our second recipient for second year grant is Jenny Aruda. If I pronounce your name incorrectly, I apologize in advance. Our next recipient is Alexis Bernier. Next is Ellie Boddington. Next is Taylor Botello. Uh, next is Shelby Bravo. Ryan Coombs is on the list, but he's unable to be here. Um, next is Megan Correa, and I believe a friend's gonna, gonna accept for, for her this evening. Um, Alexander Holden. Uh, according to this, he's not here. Brian McDonald? No, okay. Uh, Keegan Murphy's not here. Andrea Oliveira? Amanda Pacheco? Uh, Manisha Powell? There she is. According to this list, she's not here, uh, but another recipient is Brianna Raposa. Uh, Alexi Ribello. Christine Rigo. And uh, according to the list, he's not here, Desmond Sanders. So those are our, uh, oh, sir, there he is, sorry. Says you're not here, I apologize. So those are our 18, those are our 18 second year grant students. So a round of applause. So just remember, you're gonna be, we're gonna be calling out the scholarship awards, but just remember, I made you an offer you really can't refuse. So I'll be in contact with you uh, sometime after the summer. Uh, hopefully I'll have the dates for both, both Shake the Cans and uh, you can be here next year. Um, the one thing I do want to mention before I turn it over to, uh, to Peter is um, 
the, scholarship, the, the second year grants and also the scholarships, we have to make the checks payable to the schools. Um, we believe we have the right schools, especially for the second year grant students. The first year, the high school students who are graduating, we, um, we had your schools online. We then called you to let you know that you were awarded a scholarship. We verified your college with you. In the meantime, after that, I had students calling saying, oh, I, I know I get the phone call, but I've since changed colleges. So we believe that we have the, but if you've changed colleges again since we've called you, you probably have the check made out incorrectly. But Fatima, who's over here in the armist dress, has some blank checks with her tonight. So if your check is incorrect, Fatima will issue a replacement check. So we do our best, but we find that the, the students sometimes, by the time we call them to let them know, by the time we verify it, and by the time they show up, a lot of times they've changed colleges and we're not aware of it. So at this time, I'm going to uh, call up uh, Peter Holman, who is on our awards committee, to uh, award this year's 27 scholarships. Peter. I'm going to, I'm going to, hang on a second. I'm going to muck you up. This is actually being video recorded tonight from Bristol Community College. And uh, the Herald News is also here too. So let me give you this. You put this in your pocket and you'll be all set. Okay. All right. All right. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Last time I saw you was on a baseball field. This is actually the best part of the evening because we've got very deserving students receiving a good amount of money. And boy, that great combination. Before we begin um, the regular scholarships, we have a series of scholarships that are designated as below the hill scholarships. And one, a member of the longtime member of the board of directors, uh, Stephen Dorney, will explain that because he himself is a former resident of Below the Hill, and he will also be explaining some, uh, some other uh, scholarships, including the Boys and Girls Club. Stephen? Just stay next to me. Yep. <clears throat> Just a quick announcement on Below the Hill. We've had that scholarship for several years. In the last three years, we did not get one applicant for that. So this year, we sort of stepped up the uh, trying to get the word out. And I wanted to say a special thank you to uh, Margaret Diago, who is the manager at the Santa Cristo Credit Union, and also the staff of, this, of the rectory at Santa Cristo Church. So we did get the word out. So this year, we have three uh, recipients for the Below the Hill Scholarship. And Below the Hill is defined by South Main Street, <coughs> Bradford Avenue, Bay Street, Columbia Street, and then that little park um, from Columbia to, to 195. So that appears as an annual scholarship, but hopefully uh, more people will notice it. Um, also, there are, there are three recipients tonight who are members of the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club works uh, very closely with the Dallas for Scholars group when applications come out. and. Uh, the three of you who are uh, club members, can you just raise your hand? Yep. Yeah. I would ask all of you uh, at some point this summer to, to make sure you get your thank yous out because Mimi Larravee is the director of the teen program and she works with everybody to get their applications in. Caitlin Burns is no longer Caitlin Burns, but I don't know her married name, <laughs> but she is the graduation coach at the Boys and Girls Club and she helps kids get their um, SAT stuff, FAFSA stuff, and things like that. So they do a very, a very good job, along with Peter McCarthy, who's the executive director. And the last announcement, it's sort of for everybody in the yellow shirt here, and people who are high school graduates, you can sort of listen to this for next year and beyond. Uh, on the Dallas for Scholars website, we've just put a, uh, a scholarship that's coming out. It's the uh, Superintendent of Schools John R. Carrero Scholarship, the John and Pauline Pont Scholarship, and the Gregory Dorney Scholarships, for all, which are all memorial scholarships. Uh, if you're a graduating high school senior 2016, you're not eligible. Uh, this scholarship is reserved for students already in school. So it's on the website if you want to apply or tell your friends about it. And the deadline is not correct on the website. It's actually July 27th. And we think there'll be around five scholarships awarded. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. I'm going to mention something about BCC. They don't have checks tonight. 
Okay, I'm not sure why. I don't know how that all works. All right, moving right along. I'm working off of two separate sets of information. That's always dangerous, so we'll see how we do this. All right, the first Below the Hill Scholarship is awarded to Ms. Kelsey Dias. And if I am not mistaken, Kelsey is in her fourth year in the program. Stephen's not listening, which is never. 2019. 2019. Congratulations. And if I am not, and the second is going to an Elena per, Paridi, but I do not believe that Elena is here this evening. Is that correct? Okay. And third, the third recipient of the Below the Hill Scholarship is Dakota Fratentes, who is a student at Roger Williams University and will be majoring in business and economics. Many of our scholarships are memorial scholarships. Uh, for example, the first one is going to be given to Shana Miranda, who I do not believe is here. She's going to be going to Bridgewater State University. And that is given to a, in memory of John W. Cummings, who is a longtime Fall River teacher and also was a longtime uh, very active in Fall River Little Theater and also uh, uh, a distinguished member of our board of directors. He has missed considerably. Next, the first boy, Boys and Girls Club recipient of the, of the Anthony E. Fazina and Rosario F. Joseph Memorial Scholarship is to Jeff Middleton. And Jeff, if you come, come on down, Jeff will be going. Did you go to BCC? Yes. Jeff will be going to BCC. Uh, we'll be majoring in engineering. Jeff, what we're going to do this evening is we're going to shake your hand, okay? Right. We're not going to give you a check. Um, <laughs> You we have three Bristol community uh, BCC students that are receiving uh, awards this evening. Um, and we have a separate system with BCC where we go through the, the school directly. Ernie Silver, uh, current uh, vice president. Mm -hmm. Anyone that's getting a BCC scholarship this evening see, will see Ernie and he'll, he'll tell you exactly how it's going to get handled directly end. with the school. Yes. At the end. Yeah. At the end. Right. Yes, at the end. All right. Thank okay, you. thank you. <laughs> We guarantee that you still will get the money. Don't worry. <laughs> By the way, when, I, when we mention these names and so forth, if there are family members here instead, you please come down and, and receive, the, receive the award. Or if there are people that are associated with the scholarship that wish to say something, please come down and, and just let us know. That'd be fine. All right, next we have the Figueroa Watts Family Scholarship, and that will be um, awarded to Savannah St. Just. Did I pronounce that correctly? And, and Savannah will be going to UMass Boston, and the major, the major will be computer engineering. The second Boys and Girls Club scholarship is entitled the Fall River, I'm sorry, the second Boys and Girls Club recipient will be receiving the Fall River Kiwanis Albert Domingos Memorial Scholarship. And that is Ms. Ashley Amaral, who will be going to BCC and majoring in general studies. No check for Ashley. The next scholarship is given in memory of Janelle Nellie Eaton, the Memorial Scholarship, and that is going to be to, and I hope I pronounce your name, yes. Kai Uehara, yep. who will be going to Emmanuel College and majoring in education. And I believe we have members of this family here.
Thank you very much. Our next recipient is absent this evening. Her name is Sabrina Costa. Just want to make sure she didn't sneak in on us. The, and she will be going to um, UMass Dartmouth, uh, majoring in nursing. And she will be receiving the Agatha Goodson Scholarship. So congratulations to Sabrina. The next scholarship is the E. Gerald Goodson Memorial Scholarship, and that will be given to Ms. Katya Frias, who will be going to UMass Amherst and will be majoring in biology. Don't let me miss one. Okay. Make sure I don't miss one. No, you're good. Okay. The next scholarship is the Morris Horvitz Memorial Scholarship. And that will be awarded to Miss Brittany Baker, who will be attending Fairfield University with a pre-dental major, and receiving her award will be her mother. The Irving and Bentley Macy Memorial Scholarship will this year be awarded to Ms. Lauren Souza, who will be going to Fitchburg State University with a criminal justice major. Then our next scholarship is the Raposa Family Scholarship, and that will be awarded by Mrs. Karen Boddington, who is a member of our Board of Directors, and, it will be, and the recipient is Laura Gaudet, who will be going to the University of Vermont with a major in speech pathology. You second. go right ahead. I don't really need that. Um, I'm here kind of as a triple. My daughter uh, got a scholarship. I'm here on the board. My parents have a scholarship. And as a 14-year teacher in the fall of our public schools, there are a whole lot of people in this room who have a talk. Um, some from sixth grade, hey Tiff. Um, Anna, and I can't tell you how thrilled I am to see all of you guys here. Congratulations. The George Riley Memorial Scholarship will be awarded this year to Benjamin Barros, who will be attending UMass Amherst, and his major will be pre-medical studies. Good job. The Margaret M. Riley Scholarship will this year be awarded to Sarah Rose Carton, who will be going to the Maine College of Art and majoring in ceramics. I do not believe that our next recipient is here, Sarah Cavallo. But we should make mention of the fact that she will be receiving, she's going to be heading to Ameri American International College with a major in nursing. But she will be receiving the Bruce Rex Scholarship. Bruce Rex was also is, is uh, unfortunately deceased for about I want to say about a year or so, two years, and he was a former member of our uh, of our organization and put a tremendous amount of time um, into our organization along with other organizations and very uh, philanthropic individual. So we uh, we had, we felt it more quite justified to give certainly to give a scholarship in his name. The Rogers Family Foundation Scholarship will this year be given to Tiffany, Tiffany is it Vincent or Vincenti? Vincenti. Vincenti. 
And Tiffany is, coming, is going to the University of Connecticut, and her major will be pre-pharmacy. Oh, yeah. The next scholarship is the Sydney Schenka Memorial Scholarship, which will be given to Lely Annette Pastrana, who will be attending Bridgewater State University and majoring in social work. Our next scholarship, the Ernesto R. and Dolores P. Silva Memorial Scholarship. And this year, will be the recipient is Nicole Oliveira, who will be attending UMass Dartmouth and majoring in psychology. The Jeffrey Silva Memorial Scholarship will be awarded to Nuno Alfama, who will be going to Montserrat College of Arts and majoring in photography. Our next, next scholarship, Dr. Stanley T. Spivak Memorial Scholarship. And I should mention that many of these scholarships are explained in some detail in the rear of the uh, program. And this particular scholarship, ladies and gentlemen, is awarded annually to a graduating high school senior from Fall River and the surrounding communities who has lost a parent to a physical illness or who has overcome their own serious physical illness. This year's recipient is a young man by the name of Sean Suzapak. Sean is not here this evening, and tragically, he lost his dad just a couple of months ago, a few months ago. And he will be heading to BCC right here, and he will be majoring in general studies. The next scholarship is the Richard Viveris Memorial Scholarship. And if I am not, yes, our third Boys and Girls Club recipient is Ricky Meach. And he will be attending Bridgewater State University and majoring in biology. Our next scholarship, the Stacy Lynn Viveris Memorial Scholarship, will be awarded to Trevor Reese, who will be going to Springfield College and ma majoring in sports management. The Wayne Viveris Memorial Scholarship will be given to Ms. Hannah Torres, who will be attending Swarthmore College and majoring in engineering. The WSAR Scholarship will this year be awarded to Sierra Souza, who is heading to Hampshire College and will major, be majoring in the visual arts. <laughs> this is not Sierra Susan. This is Katie Mello, who is the Division II secretary here at the college. And as I am a member of Division II in the history department. And she is the glue of our division, believe me. Okay. 
Our son is a uh, uh, Fall River police officer. He's now 30 years of age. And uh, growing up, unfortunately, however, he is a Yankee fan. And I always said I probably dropped him on his head when he was a baby. But that's not the case, because he grew up and his, arguably his closest friend and their entire family were Yankee fans. And when this young man, this very gifted young man, died at the age of 11, um, their family decided to immediately make sure that his name was preserved. Uh, that's not, probably not the correct word, but if you know what I'm saying. And here we are 20 years later. On July the 11th, we will be having the 20th um, golf tournament in Michael's memory. Those golf tournaments usually last six, seven years. This is 20 years and counting. And I, I'm going to uh, let um, Michael's mother, Cindy Robel, tell you a little bit about Michael, but also tell you where the, all the money has been, has been going these past 20 years. Cindy? Um, thank you very much, Peter. Um, when Michael was diagnosed with cancer uh, at the beginning of his fifth grade year, um, we hoped that we would be in your position at some point, um, worrying about money, helping him get a start in college. He had great plans. He was a planner. He even knew he was going to get a big dog once he got married. Why those two went together, I don't know, but <laughs> that's, that's what he planned. Um, when Michael was ill, he was bound and determined to help children with cancer when he got better and teach people about cancer. We have taken up that mandate, um, not only with this memorial scholarship, but with Michael's Fund, which for 20 years funded bone marrow drives. Michael did. Michael needed a bone marrow transplant. He had a, not a common bone marrow and died before we could find one for him. I was bound and determined that no other parent, when faced with this situation, would have to hear the words, there is no match. So we took up that mandate. And we have tried to fulfill his the void that his life left once he died. Um, and we will continue to do that as long as we possibly can. This year, tragically, as we all know, Fall River lost two other young, promising women well before their time, leaving a void in this world where the good they would have done would have made a difference. Because this senior class is well aware of the fact that life is not certain, you are mandated to begin the good that you are bound to do immediately. Not after your college, not once you've uh, sown all your wild oats, but immediately. For there are three voids so far that we know of. If you do not fill them, they will remain unfilled, and the world will be a much worse place because of it. You have no excuse. You understand loss at a very young age. So please, become who you are supposed to be and do what you are supposed to do for this world. Because no one else will be able to do it as you do it. Just as we are not totally able to do it as Michael would have done it. 
So with that, I'd like to present this um, scholarship to Bella. 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 And Bella is going to be attending UMass Dartmouth, and she will be majoring in nursing. And we have one young lady who just arrived. She's here. And we're going to go back to the Below the Hill Scholarship and award Elena Pariti, who will be going to, or are you already in Brandeis, or are you going to be attending? Going to going to be going to Brandeis University and majoring in psychology. Thank you very much, and I'll just turn the microphone over to the president. Something? Certainly. I always need a mic. I want to thank these yellow shirts. It was a pleasure working with you, my age, your age. Fun. On corners, in front of Walmart. You weren't what you got tonight. Now you've got other guys that are out here. As our president has said on occasion, you don't have, you can't be there. You can send your parent, you can send a kid, you can send your best friend, you can send somebody you don't like. You can do whatever. <laughs> I stole that line from him last year. <laughs> but we need your help. The other thing is I asked a question because sometimes I don't get things right. All of you in the yellow shirts are eligible for the scholarships Mr. Dorney mentioned that are on the website now. Not, this doesn't take anything away from that. Okay? That's it. Thank you all. Thank you. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and just wrap it up. I want to follow up on something that Mrs. Rodel said. Um, the scholarships, there are bios in the back of these books, but Quite frankly, they don't do it justice. You could write 30 pages on, uh, on each one of these scholarships that you've received this evening. But just to give you like a, a flavor, uh, I'm not gonna mention the name of the scholarship. Um, I'm not gonna mention the amounts that people donated, but we had somebody a couple of years ago who graduated from Durfee High School. Um, about 50 years ago, he graduated from Durfee High School. So I know it's hard for you to envision yourself 50 years from now but the time has a way of creeping up on you. And his mother passed away, and his father passed away, and he donated a sizable amount of money in both his mother's name and his father's name. Last year, we had someone, passed, um, someone whose uh, husband passed away, and in their will, they left us in their will a sizable amount of money so that we can award scholarships for decades. Uh, last year, I got a letter from an attorney in the city of Fall River saying that he had a client who passed away and uh, left as a percentage of their will. And this is how a lot of these scholarships get funded. Um, they get funded, I don't know if you saw, uh, I, had a, I had a thank you in the paper uh, yesterday for all of the students here who participated in Shake the Can. And the last paragraph said that 58 years ago, Dr. Irving Frank Fratkin wrote, he, if he was here, he would tell you the story because he's told it to me 1,487 times, okay? But he said he got the first dollar, which he still has in a frame, from First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, 58 years ago. And that dollar has been turned into $1 million of scholarships that been, have been awarded here in Fall River. But we're one of about 530 chapters nationwide that fall under what we call the Scholarship America umbrella. And, and chapter number one is Fall River. Okay, Fall River, if you go down some of the intersections, you go into the elevator of the city, the city of Fall River, it says the Scholarship City. Uh, so, and nationwide, that one dollar from Eleanor Roosevelt has turned into three billion dollars of scholarships that have been awarded uh, nationwide. So you're a part of an elite group. So the only, I, there is a message here. There is a message. Um, I know you're all going to do well. Someday you're going to be the mayor of the city of Florida. 
Um, possibly you only need to be 24 and you can go. <laughs> but um, just remember this evening and remember where you came from. Um, some of these people um, that, that give us money, it, it's a struggle for them to come up every year with $1,000 for the scholarship, but it's something they want to do it. And some of, uh, as I said to you a little while ago, some people leave us monies in their wills or their mothers and fathers pass away, they want to leave us money in their memory. And because of those people, who many of them receive scholarships, um, all of you are able to receive a scholarship here this evening. So when you become extremely successful, uh, remember, I'll be long gone. Okay, I'll be long gone when you, uh, when you get to that age uh, in your 50s and 60s. I'll, I won't be on the planet anymore. But um, just, just, re just remember the board and all these people in the program book who were able to award these scholarships this evening. And when you have the ability to give back to your community, it's a great thing to do. So I want to congratulate all of the recipients, both the, uh, the, the high school, uh, uh, the graduating high school seniors who are going on to college next year and our second year grant students. And uh, thank you for coming and have a great, have a great day.